Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. We all know that water buckets are a very important part of Minecraft, as it can be used for a lot of things, like save you from fall damage, it can be used as an elevator, and it can even drown and kill you. It may seem like a concept that we know and love in Minecraft, however, there's a lot of bizarre features that we just don't think about. Sometimes it just does not make any sense at all. And so today, I'm going to go into excessive depth and analyze Minecraft water and figure out everything wrong with it. Now before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. It helps out a ton and there's not much of a reason not to. Thanks. Alright, let's get started. At a first glance, water actually seems to make physical sense. You put it down, it flows outwards in a direction, and it kind of stops over time. But the more we look into it, the more we can see that water simply just breaks so many laws of physics. The first one that may come to mind is the law of the conservation of mass. In survival, with two water buckets, you can make an infinite water source like this, which doesn't really make sense. Because you have four blocks of water, and then you take one out, it refills, and now you have five blocks of water. To further exaggerate this point, I've built here what is called a water spreader. As the name implies, if you put one single water source here, it spreads it out to take up as much space as possible. As you can see, I've only built it up to three layers, but there's 256 layers in the Minecraft world. You could theoretically make a water spreader that tall. And for all you smart Alex out there who are thinking, oh, maybe this is not more water being created. Maybe it's still following the law of conservation of mass. Maybe the water's just getting less dense so that it can take up more volume. And to you guys, I say this. Here in this chart, you can see that there's a certain point at which if you lower the pressure too much, the water can no longer be a liquid. Now that I've resolved that issue that literally no one asked about, let's move on. Well, at least water follows basic gravitational properties, right? Well, yes and no. As you can see, water does flow from a higher to a lower elevation, like it should. But the problem is, Water source blocks can float in air, perpetually, which just does not make sense. Also, can we talk about how sus some of these ultra rare underwater noises are? This is, this is, uh. Like, what, what is that? What is that? Random underwater sounds. If I heard that and I was just swimming underwater like in real life, I think I would just like pee in the water. That's what I would do, that's it but things somehow seem to get even weirder. As you might know, water negating fall damage already doesn't make sense, as you could be falling from a really high altitude down to just a mere puddle of water and not take fall damage. But if we wanted to quantify just how powerful water is, it's gonna take some science. And so I constructed a pillar of water and signs telling you how deep you are in the water. The goal of this tower is to calculate the force that water exerts on the player as the player descends through it, negating all their falling speed. Knowing a couple things about Minecraft can help us with this calculation. For example, a Minecraft block is one meter by one meter by one meter. Another important thing to know is that terminal velocity for a falling player in Minecraft is 78.4 meters a second. Now, it takes a couple hundred blocks of falling to actually reach this velocity, which you can't really do in survival because the max build height is only 256. But in creative, you can teleport yourself to any height you want. Teleporting myself 700 meters above this water pillar is plenty to reach terminal velocity and determine how fast water can stop us from falling. As you can see, it took us about 20 meters of water to bring us down to a speed of normal sinking in Minecraft. This can be further exaggerated by holding space while sinking through the water. As you saw there, it only took 18 meters to reach this same velocity. Now before we move on any further, we need to know the mass of the player falling through the water. As you may have seen in a lot of other YouTube videos, Minecraft Steve can actually hold an absurd amount of weight. Gold blocks are the heaviest block in Minecraft, and they're stackable up to a size of 64. That means you can put this many gold blocks into a shulker box, and you can hold this many shulker boxes in your inventory, including the offhand. In total, this weighs 1.233771 billion kilograms 
And yes, I'm using metric instead of customary because it makes more sense for the physical calculations that I'm going to do. As you can see, holding all these items actually does not affect this distance at which you fall down in water. Now you may be wondering, if this 1.2 billion kilogram individual falling at 78.4 meters per second stops in water in 18 meters, how many freaking newtons of force is that water applying to this person? Well, I am glad you asked. That number comes out to an astounding 210.64 billion newtons. Now, it's kind of hard to put 210 billion newtons of force into any perspective that we can really understand. But let's just say this. If 210 billion newtons of force were to be applied to you right now, within the first nanosecond, you would just die. You would be crushed into oblivion. Now this leaves me wondering, why in the world can Minecraft water exert that much force? Okay, so I have a theory. I think that water is not actually H2O. It's made out of something else, something that we don't understand, a chemical that we haven't discovered yet, something forged by gods or by something, some, something supernatural. Water is not something that we can understand or comprehend. Water, water is just something else. Everyone says you need to drink water. People say to hydrate. This is how we're being controlled. This is how we're being controlled. There is something about this. We have to drink it. We pretend like we have to drink it. We're being told that we have to. Okay, uh, another theory is that it's just funny block game physics.